Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, Pax Romana. Alright, in the last episode, we, uh, had a little bit of a setback. Um, we became infirm, and I did notice that we've got a little problem here. Uh, uh the Emperor does not like us. So, I've... I've actually gone through this a couple times, and he is going to immediately uh, request a revocation of our title, our duchy title. Um, it wouldn't be so bad, because he immediately gives it back to us, except when he does that, we go from elective to gavelkind. Gavelkind. That screws up our succession. Because I've got so many sons, everything... It, it, it just completely screws it up. So we're not, we wouldn't even be able to, we would not be able to play as um, this alt. We'd play as this one, and each of the other three would get a piece of territory. So, that's not good. Uh, <laughs> now, I can also, uh, it, it's, it looks like the best thing is going to be to rebel and immediately surrender, because I think that's going to uh, most likely keep our title intact, our succession intact, but we are going to become um, probably blinded or castrated or something like that. Castrated I can deal with. Uh, our wife right now, who's 28, has had a bunch of kids. That's good. Um, that's fine. I don't mind that. I would not mind... Uh, you know, pressing her claim for the Empire and uh, um, it falling to a kid kind of thing. Um, the problem is going to be... Um, that's that's going to shorten our life even more. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if uh, our sons weren't so young, the ones that I want to inherit. I want one of these two to inherit. Problem is that he's got trusting and eh, not so great. Honest, good... Roth, not so great. Um, and his stat line isn't all that great compared to um, our second son uh, with her, uh, who's a little bit better. Same diplomacy, uh, better marshal, better stewardship. Um, he's temperate, he's honest, and he's brave. Um, now his uh, learning is only one, whereas uh, his is six already. So, But he's younger, he could get that up a bit more. Um, this guy, unfortunately, is not giving him all... Uh, quite as many traits as I'd want. I don't want that. I don't want that, if I can help it. And he gave him the other ones. Um, but worst case scenario, he'll, he'll be okay. So, I think we're gonna have to actually rebel and let the... let the war happen. Um, or immediately surrender. Or maybe I can try for a white piece. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, let's go ahead and take an ambition. We want to become Mysticos. So, all right. Well, um, and I was also looking all around off screen, thinking about maybe uh, getting some more buildings, but I think I might want to uh, hold off and keep the money. Um, buying uh, uh, mercenaries is not going to do any do me anything. So. That's not going to help. Um, so we're just going to have to suck it up, take it on the chin kind of thing. Um, one other thing, it's uh, really unrelated to the main uh, gameplay. I was playing around with the uh, um, some of the uh, data files uh, and changing around some of the names. So I changed Carrick for um, when uh, a Welshman controls it. Uh, it's now Aaron. Um, I changed uh, this duchy title, the Duchy of Lothian, to um, the Duchy of Godothan. And uh, I also changed uh, the some of these other uh, names around. I was just doing some uh, Wikipedia in, and really, I, I felt that the Welsh having just the Empire title, uh, the Scottish title, and this one duchy title change. It was kind of silly when, you know, closely related groups of people 
lived throughout this area, and the names are recorded, even if they're not perfectly known. So, I uh, changed that around. I'm probably going to look into uh, figuring out some appropriate names for uh, Italy, southern France, southern Spain, Africa, for the Byzantine Empire. Uh, because I noticed that those don't change. Um, and I just kind of feel like they should. I like it better when the names change. I, I mean, to an extent, it, it seems like, you know... Um, when... You know, like, for example, if uh, the English take over India, I kind of feel like the names should change to the... Um, the English exonyms. Um, so, like, Calcutta, I'm not sure exactly where it is, and, and uh, Mumbai. Uh, you know, it, it should be Calcutta rather than uh, Kolkata or whatever it is, and uh, Bombay instead of Mumbai. Just because, you know, I mean, it, it, it's kind of historical, even if it's more recent than this game. So I kind of feel like, uh, you know, if the Welsh take over an area... And they have a, an exonym for it. Why not? It, the name should change. Anyway. Um, back to uh, our uh, getting screwed. So uh, let's, uh, let's go. I can't increase any of my traits because I am infirm. So, uh, and I can't move our Magistros. So uh, not until April. And boom, there it is. Um, I could raise up my troops and uh, attempt to defend against it, but uh, there's not going to be much point, really. Um, and he's going to war for uh, the Aegean I Islands down here. How, he how that got lost? I don't know. There must have been a rebellion? Maybe when uh, one of the revolts was happening? The uh, um... What did he have? All right. Uh, this guy must have come down and uh, taken it. I'm not sure exactly when he took it. July 8th? Did I just totally miss when that happened? Man, I must have been oblivious. Oh, well. Whatever. All right. Uh, to the magnificent Duke Ald the Second, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We have decided to immediately revoke your title as Duchy of Nikaya. Failure to hand it over peacefully will lead to war. No, it is mine. You cannot have it. Let's go ahead and renominate our son. Um. Unless he dies, uh, it is best to nominate him, because uh, if I place my wife on the Byzantine throne, I'm not going to be able to get him on on the throne. I mean, he would inherit, so I'd have to kill him. Chance of becoming a Kinslayer. Uh... Alright, well, he's not too bad. So we'll go with that. And... Probably just going to have to let him come in and uh, besiege us. Actually, I suppose I could try... Um, we're at 1%. Let's uh, offer peace. Offer white peace? No. I've already won. Give up now, and I'll spare your life. I could just go ahead and surrender right away. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Drop that back down. Got to do successor nomination again. Uh, I don't want to screw that up and, and have him get... Uh, and die myself while uh, someone else... And then have someone else uh, inherit, so... Still at three. Oh, ruler stewardship bonus, plus one, because of my regent. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
Um, yeah, he lacks a guardian. It's because I'm still in jail. Uh, let's actually try... See if we can uh, ransom ourselves. Um, ask to ransom prisoner. Gold is good! Uh, but you're low opinion of me. But it would be money! It would be money! <sighs> when can I move you again? April 2nd. Alright, well... A commotion outside your cell wakes you suddenly, and you demand to know what is going on. The jailers enter, accompanied by an old toothless man who is carrying a satchel full of surgical instruments. The Duke, in his infinite mercy, has ordered your release, one of the guards says, after your castration is complete. No! 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 Well. And this guy died at the same time. Uh, he was married to, uh... My sister? Yep, my sister. Alright, let's uh, see if we can find another husband for her. Um, chance of getting... Oh, no, she's 40, so... It's for someone kind of old. Uh, hedonist and lustful? Sure. She still has a few years left which, uh, in which she, can, uh, she might have a kid, so... Um, Ah, you were incapable anyway. Okay. Alright, well, so I am now out of jail, uh, but I am a eunuch now. Fertility minus 5,000. Um, sorry, honey. Sorry. Um, but we did have uh, a bunch of kids. Um, <laughs> now I kind of hate him. I revoked uh, my title, although uh, I still do have it. And we are still elective, so that's eh, I'm, I'm willing to take that. I'm 51. Uh, more kids at this point probably would have just been a uh, recipe for disaster anyway. Child likes a guardian. I'll go ahead and uh, educate you myself. No. Thank you. Oh no, he might become Orthodox faithful. It's Ah, uh, the Regency is ended. Probably means that's gonna... Yeah, that went back down to... 4 out of 2. Alright, well... Hopefully we won't die. Uh, we do not have a penalty to health, which blindness gives, so... Overall, I'm kind of preferable to that... Rather than blindness, so... You know? Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that right now. Uh, you're an 11. Do we have... Are you better? Probably. No, you're not better. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you better favor him. Thank you. Alright, so at this point... Oh, uh, you know what? I can start a faction. Um... Let's see. Princess Zoe. There she is. Alright, we'll start the faction. And, uh, hope that, uh, oh, for too long I felt powerless as our enemies advance. But lately, Jesus has been promising me victories. If only I can get command. As Jesus wills. Oh, holy crap! Oh my god! 46 Marshall! And how is Jesus giving me martial advice when uh, I'm hearing the voice of Satan? But holy crap, 46 percent! Or, not percent, but a martial of 46. I don't think I've ever seen anyone that have that high. I've never seen a, no a, 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 a good martial person get the voice of Jesus, or the Jesus gives military advice. Ho <sighs> ho ho ho! Owner martial skill plus 180%. Wow. Of course, I am now leading troops. I'm not leading troops there. Where am I? No. 
I'm not actually leading that army. I'm, I'm, I must be in one of the uh, sides. Why? Where the hell is that guy coming from? Huh. Well, now I want to... Oh, probably from there. Okay, I, I, I got it. Never mind. That's just silly. Alright, so... Faction. What can we do to get people to join the faction? Um... We kind of like him. This is actually one thing that I am not very clear on, is getting... Figuring out how to get people into the faction. Let's see, vassals, opinion. A lot of people like him. I am, I like him the least. Let's see, you. Um, you kind of like me, but you are also infirm. <laughs> You're also a eunuch. Well, no wonder you like me. Well, actually, you don't get a, uh... You don't get anything from that. Alright, well... Yeah, I don't know that there's much that I can do about that right now. My son Ald is aiming for the stars, the ambitious little brat. Ooh, he is the one that I'd rather have it. Yeah, that is only right. That's fine. That's fine. He is the one I'd prefer to um, have it now, I think, anyway. And you want to make me marshal. Oh, whatever. That's fine. I'll be your marshal. It'll improve the kingdom. You have a marshal of 17. My current marshal has 14. Give Ald a chance, Ald. Jeez. Hmm. Alright, those troublesome peasants. Local revolt risk plus five. Oh well. I am now Antipatos. Is it Anthe or Anti? I don't know. Well, I guess I can like him a little bit more. I don't know, I mean... Minus 80 times 2 for uh, revoked my title and castrated me. Kinda... Mm, kinda... Destroys anything that you, that you that's gonna come from giving me any uh, honorary titles. Man, buddy, dude, whatever. Alright, how much money are we getting? Six. Alright. Children like a guardian. All right, Anna. Let's go ahead and educate you. No. You do have the highest uh, um, stewardship, but I go with her. She's Midas touched. Well, he is generally better. Although he's Catholic. Let's uh, demand his conversion. Nope. Send gift. Nope. Damn it. Um, word honorary title. There we go. And now you, I can still educate. Yeah, I can still educate. So I will go ahead and educate you myself. Go for another marshal. Ooh. You died. That is disappointing. Um, let's look for another quick woman. She's 29. Nah. Oh, there are uh, not many choices. Alright, that's fine. She's quick. That's the important thing. Um, I can still choose to plot. Well, I could try to uh, 
Murder the uh, captain of the Varangian Guard, huh? I can plot to murder the uh Hmm. Let's see. Let's go back to uh plotting to murder um kids. Ooh. Twenty three point eight. That's not so good. He is a Catholic Frank. I'm actually fine with that. Um, because people will hate him. I only get up to 53 percent. Thank you. What are you heir to? Heir to the county of Zaklumia. Alright. Alright, my uh, son has, uh, has had a kid. Excellent. Um, sure, he can be named Ald. That's fine. And technology points. Can we invest in anything good? Cannot get mil military organization. I could bump up this, but that is already increasing a little bit. What do I need for that? 368. That would only be fortifications. Um, and legalism. Oh. Oh, so close. But that's only going to be plus one for... Uh, Emperors and kings. Hmm. So yeah, I'm not sure if I want that. Alright, you can be my new marshal. Whatever. Train troops, right there. During a visit to my court, the Magistros of Byzantine Empire... Duke Sisinos the second of uh, well, however you pronounce that has really convinced me of what a benevolent and peaceful ruler his liege Basilius Basilios the second of Byzantine Empire is. I feel a new appreciation for him. I'm I'm still trying to kill him though. <laughs> well, I did get. Uh... See, I don't know if I want to invest in that because. My, I'll keep my points if I uh, become emperor, and the emperor currently has, um, would be lower than that. Um, now, it could spread that way. That's, it, it is a possibility. Uh, and it's not going to do me any good right now, really. It really isn't. Yeah, I'll keep the points. Whatever. There's no real need to invest uh, heavily in that. I told him he is not ready. You cannot have a fife of your own to govern. Nope. Ah, uh, what do we have? Um, that guy's been released. <laughs> Has a eunuch. <laughs> Only 16. Oh... Yeah, he does have a kid already, though. Good for him. And the Folky the Conqueror is no longer the Conqueror. He is back in Smaland. Sucks to be you, buddy. Sucks to be you. I am, uh... kind of want to use these troops that I have. I mean, I have a ton of troops. I get up to 4,300. 4, that is not enough to take on the Byzantine Emperor, though. Let's see. 
Could depose Liege. Oh, I've got a, a truce until 9.33 anyway. Oh, I... I, I have subjects in this court. Uh, it must be me. Whatever. Alright. Oh, you know what? You get up there. Make the Emperor like me more. Permit me to remind you of your obligations and duties as my sworn vassal. To form a conspiratorial faction would be in direct violation of these, and I must ask for your promise never to do so. Yes, enough lies and scheming. This option is available because you have the honest trait. Urf. Well, there goes that plot. That faction. I wonder what gives them the option of saying doing that, because I don't remember ever having that option. Is there anyone that we could bribe? No. I really like the Byzantine Emperor. Is the Emperor still pneumatic? No, he's not! Damn! No! No! Well, they're both celibate, though. I mean, not, not fully celibate, but they're pleasures in the afterlife celibacy. Minus 20 uh, on uh, uh, fertility. So, I kind of like that this guy... Oh, and this guy is actually isn't even um, of the dynasty. Oh, that is good. That is good. Oh, please die. Please die. Please die. All right, let's go back to that. We, we, need, to, we need to look for more people to join this. All right. You should be asking people to join you, damn it. All right, is there anyone who... Nope. I suppose I could try sowing descent. That might do something. Uh, I don't know. My son Leon has a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. I fear he will get hurt someday. Those who love get love in return. Let's give him the kind trait. Haha, -ha, excellent. Um. Oh, du jour war over Venezia. Hmm. That is, um... How are you planning on doing that? My spymaster tells me that information about my plot to kill Basilius II, uh, Basilius II of Byzantine Empire, might have leaked to someone outside the conspiracy. We do not know who yet, but maybe we will hear from him. Can my spymaster never bring me good news? Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Well, I guess on that note, um, I think we'll, we're going to have to call it an episode. Um, I don't know why you're going after Venice. I don't know why I'm getting uh, notified that this guy got banished. Whatever. Should be like going after Georgia or going after uh, um, some of the Muslims down here. It's, there's ripe targets down there. Mainly, I just don't want uh, Venice to uh, get destroyed as a, um, a merchant republic. That would be a shame. I mean, right now, uh, whoops. Venice and uh, Genoa are the only ones. Amalfi already got destroyed, so... Hmm. Alright, well, uh, we'll call that an episode. In the next one, we will uh, continue to... Um, you know, hope that... You know, I'm definitely going to have to boost up his uh, opinion of me, I think. Hmm. Hey, you know what? All of that murdering, uh, that th those negative opinion mal uh, modifiers went away. I like that. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next episode.